Hello everyone, and it's Magnesium, and welcome back to part two of Undertale. Since we pressed the switch last time, we'll just go ahead and continue on. See what up a, what's up ahead. Where is, where's the sign? I need to know what to do. Here we go. But don't be rude, my goss. Ah, no. I don't understand why he just dances. It's not very threatening. Can we this press the green switch? Um, let's see, there's the blue switch. I think the green switch is here. Going up. Oh dear, that took longer than I thought it would. I'm, I'm literally right here. Thank you. How did you get here, my child? Are you hurt? Nah, I'm good. Here, there. I will heal you. I should not have left you alone for so long. Hmm. It was irresponsible to try to surprise you like this. I guess. I don't know. Well. I suppose I cannot hide it any longer. Come, small one. Hey. Just because I'm small as me, you can call me small one. Seeing such a cute, tidy house in the ruins gives you determination. I guess it's cute. Kind of looks like the rest of the ruins, though. Do you smell that? Surprise! It is a butterscotch cinnamon pie. I thought we might celebrate your arrival. I want you to have a nice time living here. You said I was going to live here, Toriel. So I will hold off on snail pie for tonight. You. Here, I have another surprise for you. Okay. This is it. Aw, it's so cute. A room of your own. I hope you like it. Is something burning? Make yourself at home. Yeah, don't let the food burn. Oh look, it's my room. Look at these cool toys. They don't interest you at all. Then why did I say they were cool? An empty photo frame. It's really dusty. A box of kids shoes and a disparity of sizes. Hmm. Ooh, look. I guess I'm sleeping. We found a slice of butterscotch cinnamon pie. Hmm. Ah, uh, go out. Let's go down this way. There's a room. Just a regular old bucket of snails. Okay. It's Toriel's diary. Read the circled passage. Read the passage. Why did the skeleton want a friend? Because she was feeling bonely. Oh, goodness. The rest of the page is filled with jokes of a similar, cali similar caliber. Ew. That one was terrible. It's an encyclopedia of subterranean plants. You open to the middle. Typha, a group of wetland flowering plants with brown oblong seed pots. Known more commonly as water sausages. Oh, those things. You peek inside. Scandalous. It's Toriel's sock drawer. Socks. 
Definitely bigger than a twin size bed. Well, yes, obviously. Ah, the cactus. Truly the most sundry of plants. Alright, I'll take your word for it. Room under renovations. Okay. Oh, look! Yes, it's me! Let's go find more things. It is a very nice house, though. Very, very extremely tidy. I'll talk to you in a minute, Coral. I'm going up this way. Into the kitchen. The size of the pie intimidates you too much for you to eat it. But, well, the pie does look about as big as my head, so I do understand. The stove top is very clean. Toriel must use fire magic instead. How do I know that? Inside the cupboard are cookie cutters for gingerbread monsters. Eat. There is some white fur stuck in the drain. For some reason, there is a brand name chocolate bar in the fridge. It's a history book. Here's a random page. Trapped behind the barrier and fearful of further human attacks, we retreated. Far, far into the earth we walked, until we reached the cavern's end. This was our new home, which we named Home. As great as our king is, he is pretty lousy at names. <laughs> the ends of the tools have been filed down to make them safer. Oh, did you do that for me? I mean, I can't pick one up. Also, it looks bigger than I am, but at least I won't die on it. Up already, I see. Um, I want you to know how glad I am to have someone here. There are so many old books I want to share. I want to show you my favorite bug hunting spot. I've also prepared a curriculum for your education. Um, this may come as a surprise to you, but I have always wanted to be a teacher. Actually, perhaps that isn't very surprising. Still, I am glad to have you living here. Oh, did you want something? What is it? How about when can I go home? What? This... This is your home now. Um, would you like to hear about this book I am reading? It is called 72 Uses for Snails. How about it? No, no offense, but it sounds boring and I'd like to leave. Um, how about an exciting snail fact? Did you know that snails talk? Really? Slowly? Just kidding, snails don't talk. Interesting. Sure, I kind of figured they didn't talk, but I would like to know how to leave Toriel. I have to do something. Stay here. No. I didn't stay the last time you told me to stay, so I'm not going to stay. I'm independent. I make my own choices. I haven't been down here. What is it down here? Uh, the Toriel is. You wish to know how to return home, do you not? Ahead of us lies the end of the ruins. A one-way exit to the rest of the underground. I'm going to destroy it. No one will ever be able to leave again. But then I can't get home! Now, be a good child and go upstairs. We've already established that twice when you said to stay, I didn't stay. So I don't think I'm going to be a good child and go up. Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. I have seen it again and again. They come. They leave. They die. You naive child, if you leave the ruins, they, Asgore, will kill you. I'm only protecting you, do you understand? Go to your room. No, I want, I want to leave, Toriel, please. Do not try to stop me. This is your final warning. Well, I... I will try to stop you, please. You want to leave so badly? <laughs> You're just like the others. There is only one solution to this. Prove yourself. Prove to me you are strong enough to survive. No! No, I don't want to fight Goat Mom. I'll talk. You couldn't think of any conversation topics. Oops. Ah! 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 No! Uh, 
um, spare. Oh, oh no, oh no. Ah. Mario looks three. Um, I'll just keep staring, I guess, talking doesn't do anything. Oh, goodness, D, ah. Oh no. Ah. Suck at this. Um. Keep sparing. There's more lines of dots this time, so I assume that means something. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Mario takes a deep breath. Um, I'll just spare again. Now there's a question mark. Yes, it is doing something. Ah, oh, goodness. If I sit here, I won't get hurt. Mario looks through you. Um, I'm just gonna use my other monster candy just in case. Sit here, it doesn't touch me. Oh, it did. I'll spare again. What are you doing? I'm not going to hurt you. Obviously. Oh. Uh, let it go. Oh, almost. Uh, spare again. Attack or run away. Um, neither. Neither of those things, thank you very much. Ugh. Eee. No. What are you proving this way? Um, that I don't want to hurt you? Ah! If I just stand there, it'll be fine. Spare you. Fight me or leave. No, neither of those. Oh, dang. You're gonna die. Stop it. No, you stop it. Stop hurting me, it suck. Stop looking at me that way. Wee! Ah, I didn't have time to get away. Go away. No! No way, stop it. I'm dying. Ugh, <sighs> too much there. Oh! That's great. Ah, now I can just sit here. Until you give up. Because you don't want to attack me. I know you want to go home, but... I want to go home. But please, go upstairs now. No! I want to go home. I promise I will take good care of you here. That's that's nice, Toriel, but I want to go. I know we do not have much, but... I want to go... We can have a good life here. Why are you making this so difficult? It's not me. You're the one making me... Letting me not leave. Please, go upstairs. No, I want to leave. Let me leave. Pathetic, is it not? I cannot save even a single child. Let me go. No, I understand. We would just be unhappy trapped down here. The ruins are very small once you get used to them. It would not be right for you to grow up in a place like this. My expectations, my loneliness, my fear. For you, my child, I will put them aside. Thank you. If you truly wish to leave the ruins, I will not stop you. However, when you leave, please do not come back. Oh, okay. I hope you understand. No, but alright. No, don't hug me before I leave. That makes me more sad. Stop it. Goodbye, my child. No. Toriel, I'm, I'm sorry. That was sad. Mm, now I can't come back.
or I'm not supposed to. No, not you again. Clever. Very clever. You think you're really smart, don't ya? In this world, it's kill or be killed. So you were able to play by your own rules, huh? You spared the life of a single person. <laughs> I bet you feel really great. You didn't kill anybody this time. But what will you do if you meet a relentless killer? You'll die and you'll die and you'll die until you're tired of trying. What will you do then? Will you kill out of frustration? Or will you give up entirely on this world? And let me inherit the power to control it. I am the prince of this world's future. Don't worry, my little monarch. My plan is a regicide. This is so much more interesting. No, I don't like your face. Stop. Go away. Shoot. <sighs> You're too creepy. Go away. Dramatic music. Now I'm outside. Can I go again? I cannot. Uh, let me call Tori. Nobody picked up. Okay, that's nice. And we'll just walk down this long path. Oh! Goodness, that was. No, something's there. Only there was a run button. Oh, there's something in between those trees. No. I don't like the music. Uh, and now I can't move. Human. Don't you know how to greet a new pal? Turn around and shake my hand. I guess. Don't hurt me. Oh, whoopee cushion. Really? So mature. <laughs> the old whoopee cushion in the hand trick. It's always funny. Anyways, you're a human, right? That's hilarious. I guess it's not funny, I think. I'm Saints. Saints the Skeleton. I'm actually supposed to be on watch for humans right now. Oh. Well, you found one. Congrats. But, you know, I don't really care about capturing anybody. Now my brother, Papyrus, he's a human hunting fanatic. Hey, actually, I think that's him over there. I have an idea. Go through this gate thingy. Yeah, go right through. My bro made the bars too wide to stop anyone. But it's a good job, Papyrus. Quick, behind that conveniently shaped lamp. That is a very conveniently shaped lamp. Sup, bro? You know what's up, brother? It's been eight days and you still haven't recalibrated your puzzles. You just hang around outside your station. What are you even doing? Staring at this lamp. It's uh, really cool. Do you want to look? No, I don't have time for that. What if a human comes through here? I want to be ready. I will be the one. I must be the one. I will capture a human. Then, ah, uh, the great papyrus will get all the things I utterly deserve. Respect. Recognition. I will finally be able to join the Royal Guard. People will ask to be my friend. I will bathe in a shower of kisses every morning. Hmm. Maybe this lamp will help you. Sans, you are not helping, you lazy bones. 
All you do is just sit around and boondoggle. You get lazier and lazier every day. Hey, take it easy. I've gotten a ton of work done today. A skeleton. Ugh. Good pun. Sans! Come on, you're smiling. I am and I hate it. Sigh. Why does someone as great as me have to do so much just to get some recognition? Well, sounds like you're really working yourself down to the bone. Ugh, Sans. Ugh. You will attend to my puzzles. As for your work, put a little more backbone into it. <laughs> if only I too could have a rim shot when I do bad puns. Okay, you can come out now. Out of my conveniently shaped lamp. You ought to get going, he might come back. And if he does, you'll have to sit through more of my hilarious jokes. Actually, I wouldn't mind that. I'll just stand here. I'm kidding. I should progress. Actually, hey, hate to bother you, but can you do me a favor? I was thinking, my brother's been kind of down lately. He's never seen a human before, and seeing you might just make his day. Don't worry, he's not dangerous. Even if he tries to be. Thanks a million. I'll be up ahead. You walked backwards, though. I guess I can help. I mean, I didn't say yes or no. The convenience of that lamp still fills you with determination. Box road. Hmm. Ah, there is a box. This is a box. You can put an item inside or take an item out. The same box will appear later, so don't worry about coming back. Sincerely, a box loader. Oh, cool. Use the box? Yes, I will put this in there. Oh, tough glove. I'll take that. Tough glove. Uh, a worn pink leather glove. For a five-fingered fork. Um, I guess I'll... Equip it. Ooh, monsters. Snow drink. Oops. Um... What if I tell him a joke? You make a bad ice pun. Ha ha ha. Nice try. Ah. Snow Drake is smiling at its own bad joke. So what if I laugh at it? You laugh at Snow Drake before it says anything funny. Oh. What are you laughing at? I thought you made a pun. I was laughing at it. Sorry. Ugh. Snow Drake is assessing the crowd. Um, I'll make a bad ice pun. Is that supposed to be funny? I, I guess. Sorry. Snowdrake is assessing the crap. Can I eat? Ugh. I'll just check him. Snowdrake. Uh, this team comedian fights to keep a captive body. My fave ice cereals. Frosting. Ugh. Ugh. It smells like a wet pillow. That's gross. You laugh at Snowdrake's pun. See? Laughs! Dad was wrong! Oh. Yeah, you're a great comedian. Very funny. Frosted cereals. Mm -hmm. Can I? Yes! Snowdrake is pleased with its cool joke. Oh, another fun. Lots of gold, though. <gasps> papyrus. So, as I was saying about Undyne... I am standing right here. Kind of rude to not say anything. <laughs> what are you guys doing? Quit spinning. Sans! Oh my god, is that a human? Uh, actually, so I think that's a rock. Oh. Hey, let's start in front of the rock. Oh my god! Is, is that a human? Yes. Oh my god! Sans, I finally did it! Undying will. I'm gonna. I'll be so popular, popular, popular! Him, human! You shall not pass this area! I, the great papyrus, will stop you! I will then capture you! You will be delivered to the capital! Then, then. I'm, I'm not sure what's next. 
In any case, continue only if you dare. <laughs> well, that went well. Don't sweat it, kid. I'll keep an eye socket out for you. Is that, is that another pun? Because you don't have eyes, just have an eye socket. A box. I guess I'll check that out after ice cap. Um, it's got a nice hat. Do I? I'll check it out. Ice cap. This teen wonders why it isn't named Ice Hat. Well, I mean, I, I guess. I just love my hat. Okay. Woo. Hee. Ah. Quit shooting icicles at me. Not cool, bro. Ice cap is thinking about a certain article of clothing. Let me guess your hat. Um, I'll compliment it. You inform Ice Cap that it has a great hat. My hat's too loud for me to hear you. Oh, thanks. Ice Cap makes sure its hat is still there. Um, how about I ignore? You manage to tear your eyes away from Ice Cap's hat. It looks annoyed. Hello, my hat's up here. Ugh. Ice Cap is secretly checking if you're looking at its hat. Uh, well, no, I, I am not. I'm not checking your hat. You continue not looking at Cap Ice Cap's hat. It seems defeated. Better a hatter than a hater. Oh, you think you're so funny. Ice Cap is desperate for attention. Uh, no. I'll just you. Ooh, lots of gold. What is this? There's some narration on this cardboard box. You observe the well-crafted sentry station. Who could have built this, you ponder? I bet it was that very famous royal guardsman. Note, not yet a very famous royal guardsman. It's in the same font as Papyrus, so I'm assuming it's Papyrus. Absolutely no moving. Um, okay. It's a dog. Did something move? Was it my imagination? I can only see moving things. If something was moving, for example, a human, that's a very, um, very good example. I'll make sure it never moves again. Ah, doggo blocks the way. Um, I guess I'll check him out. Doggo, easily excited by movement. Hobbies include squirrels. Well, he is a dog. Don't move an inch. Okay. Hmm, so I don't move during blue tacks. Doggo can't seem to find anything. If I pet him, you pet Doggo. What? I've been pet. Yes, I pet you. Pet, 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 pot, pet, pet, pet. Doggo has been pet. Oh, well that was simple. I will spare him now. Wow, so much gold. S something pet me. Something that isn't moving. I'm gonna need some dog treats for this. Okay. Hello? Is anybody there? No? Dog treats. Someone's been smoking dog treats. Do you smoke your dog treats? Jeez. It's Sans. Hey, there's something important to remember. My brother has a very special attack. If you see a blue attack, don't move and it won't hurt you. There's an easy way to keep it in mind. Imagine a stop sign. When you see a stop sign, you stop, right? Yeah, and stop signs are red, so I assume that's why stop is in red. Stop signs are red, so imagine a blue stop sign instead. That's kind of confusing. Simple, right? You sure? But that was in yellow. Why was blue stop signs in yellow? Ah, I'm gonna go up here. Yeah. <gasps> it's a dog. Um, I guess I'm gonna pet it. You barely lifted your hand, and Lesser Dog got excited. It is a dog. I will pet the dog. Ah. Oh, no. No, I died. No. No. Gosh dang. Alright. I am back here, so let's go up and figure out what's up here. It's Lesser Dog. I'm right. I'm not gonna die this time, Lesser Dog. Ah, ah, dog. No, dog, don't touch me. Yes, the dog is barking excitedly. I, I can swear. All right. No gold. Mm. It's a snowman. Hello, I am a snowman. That is obvious. 
I want to see the world, but I cannot move. You would be so kind, traveler. Please. Take a piece of me and bring it very far away. Sure. Thank you. Good luck. You've got the snowman piece. You do. Can I read this sign? What does it say? North. Ice. South. Ice. West. Ice. East. Snowden Town. And ice. Ugh. Goodness. Ice everywhere. Let's go this way. You're so lazy. You were napping all night. I think that's called a sleepy. Excuses, excuses. Oh, ho. <coughs> Pardon me. The human arrives. In order to stop you, my brother and I have created some puzzles. I think you will find this one quite shocking. For you see, this is the invisible electricity maze. When you touch the walls of this maze, this orb will administer a hearty zap. Sounds like fun? Because the amount of fun you will probably have is actually rather small, I, I think. Okay, you can go ahead now. Uh, Pipyrus, I should probably be holding the orb. Sans, what did you do? I think the human has to hold the orb. Oh, okay. You left footprints everywhere. Hold this, please. That was quite a high toss. Why is it on my head? Okay, try now. I guess I'll just follow all of your tracks. Incredible, you slippery snail. You solved it so easily. Too easily. However, the next puzzle will not be easy. It is designed by my brother, Sans. You will surely be confounded. I know I am. <laughs> Did you just slide away? Hey, thanks. Your brother seems to like he's having fun. By the way, did you see that weird outfit he's wearing? He made that a few weeks ago for a costume party. He hasn't worn anything else since. Keeps calling it his battle body. Man, isn't my brother cool? Yes, a bit strange. Who are you? I don't understand why these aren't selling. It's the perfect weather for something cold. Something cold. During ice. Sure. Oh, customer! Hello, would you like some ice cream? Yes. It's the frozen treat that warms your heart. Now it's 15 G. I will take, like, two. Or three. I'll take three. Time to continue on. Ooh, a snowball. I'ma push it. Oh no, it's getting smaller. Ah. What do I do with it? I just wanted to push it. It's so small. No, 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 no. Don't go back. No. Go down. Ugh. This is so hard. Don't get smart. Ooh, a hole. I'm gonna put it in the hole. Like golf. Yes, I got a purple flag. Purple, even when you felt trapped, you took notes and achieved the end of ball. You are awarded 2G. Ugh, it's so small though. Thanks for all that hard work. It's down here. It looks like a snowball. Actually, it's a snow decahedron. Kinda looks like a snowball to me, but uh, sure. Wait, I wanna go back up here. Don't wanna do the puzzle yet. It's sands. I've been thinking about selling treats too. Want some fried snow? It's just 5G. Did I say 5G? I meant 50G. No! You're right. That's still too low. No, that's far too expensive, sands. Doghouses. His. Hers. What's the sign say? Smell danger rating. Snow smell. Snowman white rating. Can become yellow rating. Unsuspicious smell. Puppy. Blue rating. Smell of rolling around. Weird smell. Humans. Green rating. Why is it in red? Destroy at all costs. That doesn't make sense. Q. 
human, I hope you're ready for. Sands, where's the puzzle? It's right there, on the ground. Trust me, there's no way they can get past this one. Um, it's a piece of paper. Monster Kid Word Search. Um, just put that down and we'll walk away. Sands, I didn't do anything! Whoops. I knew I should have used today's crossword instead. What? Crossword? I can't believe you said that! In my opinion, Junior Jumble is easily the hardest. What? Really, dude? That easy peasy word scramble? That's for baby bones. Unbelievable! Human, solve this dispute! Which is harder? Um. Both. I'll, I'll just say Jumble for you, Papyrus. Ha ha! Yes! Humans must be very intelligent. But they also find Junior Jumble so difficult. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Thanks for saying Junior Jumble just to appease my brother. Yesterday you got stumped trying to solve the horoscope. You can't solve a horoscope. Well, I'm a save. Knowing the mouse might one day find a way to heat up the spaghetti. It fills you with determination. Well, I'm gonna end today's episode here. Uh, thanks all for watching, and I'll see you in next week's episode.